Now, something I see clinic uh, nearly every day um, uh, is an adult acquired flat foot. Now, this is a flat foot that you were born with. Uh, this is normally one side, and it, it's where someone's foot has flattened and causes problems. Normally causes problems with gait, causes problems with pain. Um, I see a lot of this in clinic because it's not a very easy operation uh, for the surgeons to perform and can be well managed conservatively. Um, it, it's better managed conservatively uh, the earlier it's treated, and there tend to be four clear stages with this condition. The, the first stage is where uh, the tibialis posterior tendon is injured uh, and tends to be more commonly an overuse injury. Um, there can be injuries that go along with that to some of the ligaments as well, to the medial ankle um, and to the arch. Uh, what we tend to see is pain down the inside of, uh, of the ankle, um, uh, normally uh, following a tendon pattern, and that's because the tibialis posterior tendon has been injured. That tends to settle, all right? Um, and so in the stage two, you tend to get less pain through the tendon, and often you end up with this flat and abducted sort of foot points out. Um, and that's really common and often won't cause any pain at all. Um, but you're as a clear dysfunction with the gait. Um, people will like that, find it difficult to walk quickly, um, struggle with heels, um, and, uh, and there's an obvious difference in asymmetry between left and right. The, uh, normally then what happens because of this dysfunction, if left untreated, um, you start to get arthritic changes in the foot and ankle. Um, often through the midfoot, um, uh, where they, they show first, and this is um, this starts to cause pain through what would have been the arch that's now flattened. And then long term, that uh, those arthritic changes um, become rigid and uncorrectable. And that tends to be when you either then put in a, a boot or a brace uh, or um, send for reconstructive surgery. Conservatively, the earlier we treat this, the more, the higher the likelihood of success. Um, uh, uh, but often we end up seeing these when they're about a stage three. Um, uh, often we're looking at making insoles, uh, supportive footwear, uh, and possibly in the arthritic cases, injections of the arthritic joints to control symptoms. Um, uh, but the, the likelihood we catch a stage one that probably 100% chance of success, um, uh, something close to that anyway, and then, um, and then the further through those stages, the, the less likely you are to respond, um, or the more limited you'll be. Um, normally we find you're, you're com most patients are comfortable, um, but they don't ever return to their, in the stage two, probably never likely return to their, the level of activity they had before, but we should better manage their symptoms.